That night, news of Overlord Zenon's defeat had spread throughout the Netherworlds. Adele and the rest escaped from the Colosseum and returned home. However, there was no rejoicing. Adele, unaware of Zenon's defeat, was filled with anger towards himself. His heart was torn by the thought of his family. Rosalind was also deeply saddened by her encounter with her father. Her faith in her father was deeply tested. Was she truly loved? Her confusion gave way to doubt. And as the sun rose, a familiar voice brought astonishing news. Queen Etna. I thought you should know. I took care of Zenon for you. Well, for me, really, but hey! What? Im impossible! Father was... You defeated Zenon? But his curse hasn't been lifted. Yeah, I know. Something's wrong. Went to all the trouble of beating Zenon, but my title hasn't changed to Goddess of All Overlords, or even to just Overlord. I checked my status and it still lists me as Beauty Queen. What's the deal? Shouldn't it say Demon Lord? Oh, I had that hacked a long time ago. Say, was that the real Overlord Zenon? Well, he took one look at me and knew I was the princess, so it had to be him. Oh, right. Never saw your father. Oh, I thought you'd be more helpful. This sucks. Well, could it have been a fake Xenon? Yes! be the reason my father would never say such horrible things to me it had to be a fake oh a fake huh well that would explain why my title didn't change either hmm I Yukimaru made a grave mistake Sam I misidentified my clan's greatest enemy I thought I'd finally beat Zenon, too. What a jip. Cheer up, dude. We'll find him soon. Want a cup of pretty juice? No. I'll just eat some sweets till I feel better. Sorry to bug you. See you later, dudes. Hey, Adele. Who knows? What do we do now? You could always try to summon Overlord Zenon. Hi, Mom. But we tried that already. Besides, won't that take years to prepare again? Even though you are a great summoner, getting the real Zenon won't be easy. To summon Overlord Xenon specifically will take years to prepare again, but it's pretty easy if we use certain other conditions. For example, summoning the strongest demon in the world isn't that hard. That should summon Overlord Xenon, right? Is that a fact? In that case, why didn't you tell us earlier? Because I don't have all the materials to summon the strongest demon in the world, and you guys were so busy before. I don't anymore of my life. Well, I don't need life energy for this summon. I need a piece of really strong demon, like an overlord's nail would be perfect. Excuse me, mademoiselle, but we are trying to find the overlord. But you can't find an overlord's nail. An equally powerful demon lord's nail will work too. 
a demon lord's nail with equal power to those of an overlord. Is there even such a demon lord? Demon Lord Edna! All right, let's go find her. So it turns out that Overlord Zenon we've been seeing up until this whole time was a fake the entire time. Uh, and I was going to quote Sonic Adventure 2 if I saw him. I found you, faker! And also, Edna just admits she hacked the game to change your title. Wow. Anyway, hey there guys, it's Chaos Maelstrom time! Welcome back to more Disgaea 2! In the last episode, we escaped the battle arena after meeting the fake Xenon. At least, we thought he was the real one, but now we can verify that he is a fake. As for where the real Overlord Xenon is, well, we're looking to find that. Anyway, in this episode, hopefully we're going to actually get down to, uh, finding that after we, uh, go and track down Demon Lord Etna again. But first and foremost, this is in the same recording as last episode, so give me a moment to actually stop this recording. Alright, and we're back! So, before we go and track down Demon Lord Etna, we're finally back in Holt Village, so you guys know what that means. TALKING TO NPC HELL! I still can't believe Overlord Xenon was defeated. If he really was defeated, our forms and memories should have returned. That's true, but it really didn't seem like Etna was lying. So the Xenon we saw at the Colosseum was a fake Xam. That's right! What other reason could it have been? In order to summon the strongest demon in the world, we needed the same level materials as summoning an Overlord class demon. When we first summoned Overlord Xenon, I used the worm bone as a material. I happened to find it in the closet, but I wonder why I had something like that. Weren't we lucky? Did someone in this village defeat a dragon? Yeah, right. Um, Adele, you've defeated a dragon. Several at this point, might I add. Is it too outlandish to believe somebody else could have defeated one? Anyway, moving on along. Let's see what this real pretty has to say. I'm so lucky Master Edna didn't catch me being lazy, dude! Should I just stay lazy forever, dude? Wow, these weird penguins can talk, Zam. Of course we can talk, Zam, dude. <laughs> That's one of those lines that sticks out in my memory because you never expect them to combine the two catchphrases. Rumors about Demon Lord Etna defeating Overlord Xenon are spreading to other netherworlds, too. It's possible that Overlords of alternate netherworlds may invade Veldine, too. Hmm, that serious, Zam. Well, if that happens, just leave. Or ask them if you can join them. <laughs> Honestly, Tink has a pretty good strategy. Granted, it might not work if you piss them off or whatever, but then just don't piss them off. Alright, uh, is there anything even on top of this house? I doubt there is. Yeah, okay, I was just being paranoid. I haven't seen any chests so far, and I'm wondering where they could possibly be. Overlord Xenon was defeated! Oh, right. That then why is my, my memories have gotten even more blurred? Oh, I can see some sort of castle, but uh, not much uh, of anything else. I also remember lots of red and white spotted things. I can't remember anything about my family. Wow, can't remember anything about Luigi, eh? eh? Whatever. Hey, hey, listen! Axel the Dark Hero revived as if he was a phoenix! He's such a great dark hero! I admire him! What is there to admire? Anyways, it seems he fulfilled his own goals. Now there's no debt to be paid. Yeah, I doubt we'll get the chance, but there is a chance that we will encounter an item at this point. Uh, now that Axel is, uh, back doing things his way. I'm gonna keep quiet about it in case we, uh, run into it, but I really hope we get to see it, because it's one of my favorite items in the game. Oh, Lord Zan was defeated, but I'm still a demon. Does it mean my body and soul have been tainted by the devil? Somehow I don't mind. You become accustomed to the demon lifestyle. You throw an enemy into another enemy, they will combine and level up. Though it's a little dangerous if you want to fight a strong enemy, it's a convenient technique. This guy always seems to give you good advice. At least, that you wouldn't think of off the top of your head. 
Uh, the collector doesn't say anything different until you bring him more pieces of the treasure map, so, uh, don't bother. Congratulations, Adele! I heard you won the battle arena! You're amazing! Oh, uh -huh. that is only because I, Tig Zip Dragon Slayer, helped him out! Did you even help at all? Oh, uh, well, he helped a little. Something makes me want to run wild all of a sudden. I can't help it anymore. B Bad Ghost, settle down! What does this mean? Is Overlord Zenon's curse getting stronger? Huh. Mario Boy also did say that some of his memories are missing. And the Mothman did seem more demon-like. Since yesterday, I've started to forget things. Oh my, am I getting old? Huh. That's awkward. Alright, well, that's everybody in town. Uh, I want to check my items real quick. Uh, just, uh... Adjust some things. Um, I'll also, after this episode, I'll probably uh, do some equipment adjusting because some of our equipment is probably a bit outdated at this point. Oh, hello! Alright. Well, that's good to have. Uh, anything else we could do at the Dark Assembly of interest? Uh, no, not really. Okay, well, either way, that is all that really matters. Uh, so now we're going to go ahead and get into our, uh, I guess, pursuit of, of Demon Lord, or excuse me, Beauty Queen Etna. Princess, we know where Etna went. I asked the gatekeeper, and she told me Etna went through gate JK548 to Alke City. Good job, Taro. Once we find Etna, we just have to hope she'll give us a Demon Lord's nail. I don't know if she would. Do you know how painful it is to have a nail literally pried off your body? Also, the see the ending bill is still available. I know that stage is going to stop becoming available at some point, but... Uh... Huh. If that's the case, I might as well update my save file. To... Uh... Make it so I have a later point to go back to, in case I want to. Because I will admit, I want to be as strong as possible before, uh... At least strong as possible without going out of my way to grind before uh, starting this, uh, starting that uh, stage. But alas, no need to talk about that because we're not doing that this episode, nor will we be getting to that anytime soon. And let's instead go to a dead metropolis. Yay? So this is Alke City. A long time ago, Alke City used to be full of people who knew how to use alchemy. But they started doing a lot of bad experiments, and soon everyone disappeared. The principle of prosperity and decline. Child, you are very knowledgeable, Sam. My name's not Child, it's Hanako. And I read about it in one of Dad's books. But why would Edna come to a place like this? Is a slave driver, dude. Why do we all have to move out here all of a sudden? Living in tents was pretty boring, dude. But making us take over this city is just cold-blooded, dude. There's no need for them to run. Where do they learn their manners? Well, if they're around here, then Beauty Queen Etna can't be that far away. Alchemy City, where people used to use alchemy, huh? There is some sort of Full Metal Alchemist reference in there somewhere. I just don't know where it is. Alright, so, um, yeah, again, I'm going into this chapter a little under level because I want to finish it up as soon as possible, this chapter anyway. Uh, these ninjas up here are going to be a pain in the ass. Because they're, well, difficult to get to, and, I mean, j just look at them, they're all the way up there. Again, gun users are going to be, uh, very helpful here. Uh, god, I don't want to use Cam because he's... 
He's still stronger than me! But I'm not, I don't really have a choice now, do I? Plus, they have the high ground, so it's going to be difficult for me to get an attack, a uh, useful attack off on them. Uh, I'm going to actually uh, see if I can hit him with wind. Oh, it's only 50% chance. Oh! Good work, Azra. Now you're stronger than me, too! Okay, I'm not having any of this. I can't toss anyone back into the base panel. Well, I mean, I could toss Azra, but you know what? That's pointless. And plus, I'm pretty sure I don't have anybody whose throwing arm can reach up there. Uh, you know what? It wouldn't hurt to try at this point, so let's see. All right, Lucille. Can I be thrown up here? That is the most annoying sound in this entire game. Just knowing that you can't possibly do something because somebody says, Eh, uh, no, you're not on the right plane for it. Alright, well, in that case, uh, what happens if I go a bit further up road because I notice this road is on a bit of a slant here? Hopefully that will, uh, make it so I can get up there. Come on, please. I threw him at the wrong spot. And I still can't get anywhere. Well, um... You know what? They probably can't do anything from up there anyway. Uh, let me check their weapons just to make sure. Oh yeah, they have fists. They can't do anything unless they come down here. So I'm not too worried. The only thing I am worried about is that enemy boost effect, which... Honestly, uh, shouldn't be too much of an issue so long as I keep my strong units out front. Uh, let's see. Uh, and uh, we can use Taro to tank some stuff, sure. Uh, oh, he's learned Strawberry Milk, which um, is based off of his res stat. I want to say this is a healing technique? Self-healing technique, maybe? Okay, yeah. That's what it is. But yeah, it's a good idea to um, give him some good res in that case. Alright. Uh, let's see, who else should I dispatch? Uh, yeah, Mimi could probably hit one of these uh, guys, so I'm gonna have her out too. Alright, let's go! Okay, that hurt! Alright, them being on the enemy boost panel is a very bad thing. Uh, I could use a healer now! Uh, yeah. Both me and uh, Mimi could use a healing. Alright, let's go ahead and ask Adele and Rosalind attack. You Notice how Adele and Rosalind are a lot more likely to attack together now. That's because they're, they're they're finally starting to become a lot more friendly because of everything that's been going on. Really? I could have had a chance to team attack with Yuki Maru and... Okay, you know what? Screw everything else. I just want to get off of level 24. This guy is going to die whether he likes it or not. Level 25! Thank you, God! Okay! And I just realized that nobody's in the uh, spot to be healed anymore. Alright, well, um... I'm gonna have Charlie come over here to intercept the, uh... The puppets. And, uh, yeah, this is gonna be a pretty slow-paced stage, I can tell already. Alright, but more than anything, right now, I, uh... This is, uh, heal. We need it. Look at me! I didn't heal myself. Okay, well, you know what? I don't care. I can take another beating. Uh, what am I talking about? I, I'm not, not very confident. So, Rosalind, get over here and heal me. Yeah, not much, but it's better than nothing. And, uh, Taro's also tanky, so we'll have him uh, come over here to be ready to be attacked. Alright, and then I guess I'll just have everybody else move as forward as they can. Alright, that's as good as it's gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna have uh, Cam defend just in case these puppets decide to do something a little mean. Which I'm entirely expecting at this point. Oh god, team attack. 
Okay, well, uh, not like Charlie cares about that. He took it like a champ. Uh, we got a Kunoichi over here, but it doesn't look like she's doing much. Use Rosalind to soften up some of these guys, first of all. Okay, start with a gunshot from Rosalind. Then Blade Rush. And, oh wait, uh, now put Charlie in the range of my Blade Rush, so I don't think so. And you know what? No, no way in hell Charlie's going to be able to hit that. God, this enemy, those enemy boost panels are just causing trouble all over the place. <laughs> like, Taro gives a crap about that. And here comes the next counter. Oh, man. And here comes another counter? Nope. Okay. Well, it was worth it. Worth the try. And here comes Charlie's Axe of Death. Alright. Um. Yeah, there's basically no way I'm going to be able to get over there fast enough without having somebody die themselves, so I'm just going to have to leave the enemy boost plus 50% on, I guess. Luckily, it looks like we were um, pretty good standing against them, even with the, the buff that they have, so I'm not too worried. Alright. And that'll do for now. Oh god, Taro's dead! I was not paying attention to how much health he had. Okay, well that just earned you a one-way ticket onto the death bus. Oh, Yukimaru's almost dead too. Can't have that. Alright, Mega Heal, and okay. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna update our equipment after this. Oh, you know what? I just thought of something. Look at me. I bought a few items into this stage before I came here, so, um. At the start of next turn, I'm gonna ask for some help. Alright, uh. You, we do not need you over there, so. You may come over here. First of all, get shot by Rosalind, and then we're gonna uh, have Yukimaru follow up with a Hurricane Slash. I don't know if it's gonna be able to hit very well. Uh, the speed lowering might be our only shot. Did the speed even lower? I couldn't tell. There's a big old building in the way. All right, well, it doesn't matter, he's dead. All right, Yukimaru's level 27. That makes her one of our strongest characters right now, actually. Uh, not second to Adele, because he is actually our strongest right now. Uh, I guess I'll have you two move over here and defend, because we're not really doing much else right now. Just sort of letting the enemies come to us. Alright, Adele will be fine. Uh, I hope. Oh, come on! That counts as a combo! That's not fair. Whatever. Alright. And now it's time to summon that help I was talking about earlier. Uh, Rosalind's too far away to do anything, so we'll have her summon the help. It's, his, it's our way of making him join the group and, you know, theme song and all. God, I love Daybreak Crying, but my dear comrade is still great. Now, if only there were a way to get an item that would summon a way to get and make White Tiger start playing, that would be fantastic. But alas, it doesn't look like we have such an item in our inventory. 
Uh, you resist ice, so... Not even gonna try that. Okay, hopefully this should do enough damage to get rid of it. Alright. Awesome, I'm level 27 now. I've been jumping up quite a bit. Not that I'm complaining, I need to be the strongest of all my OCs. Uh, oh, Adele could use healing. Unfortunately, it looks like most of my healers are uh, not available at the moment, so, uh... You fall back for a moment, Adele. I would toss Curtis over there to, um... Get some uh, more damage out quicker so he can get over there, not waste a turn moving over there, and then get dogpiled on, but... Also, if I throw Curtis, that would make him explode. So, yeah, that's not happening. Alright, that'll do for now. Alright, uh, Galaxia, we're gonna need a Mega Heal on that. Okay, um... Right now I'm gonna focus on getting rid of this guy, and maybe, um, have somebody else over there to draw the attention of the other dudes. Uh... Adele, I'm, I'm sorry, but it looks like I'm going to have to leave that to you. I'll have you put you in a defensive position, so hopefully you won't get, uh, you won't get screwed over too much. Alright, uh, going to follow up with an attack from me. And then Charlie will finish it off. I don't know if uh, this is going to uh, finish it, but hopefully, if Charlie's going to be able to hit, I mean, but hopefully the speed lowering will help. Oh no! That did not help! Well, that's unfortunate. Oh my god! Really?! Just... Just go away, please! Alright, no way surviving that. Good. Uh, okay, um, there are enemy, I really should have found a way to go, go for that enemy boost panel f first. Oh, 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 you guys are going to be hurting after this. Well, at least one of you is. Oh, God. Uh, well, there goes my archer. Yeah, no surviving that. Alright, this is our first time we're having some decent difficulty on a map for a while, which I guess is both good and bad. Because I don't like being my maps... I don't like my maps being too easy. Alright. Uh... Okay, or Adele will just knock her out in one hit. Alright, you! Uh, no, I can't toss him onto a... Actually, you know what? You fool! <laughs> no more buffs for you! Oh god, this is gonna feel so good! <clears throat> Sorry about that, might have lost my cool there. Alright, uh, let's, um, open up with some gunfire on this guy, and that might actually be enough to take him out. Uh, no, don't hit Curtis, he's our friend! Why is Curtis the default target? Ugh, that should not be a choice! Okay. And, oh right, Curtis already did some damage to him. Well, there we go! Overlord Xenon is coming back to life. After all that damage. As long as there are humans nearby, Overlord Xenon will never cease to exist. More humans will be lost to the darkness. But won't ruling the people become more difficult if more of their consciences are drained? That is not our concern. We are meant to serve. 
I have begun to question whether it is right for us to exist like this. I wonder if I have forgotten anything important ever since I met that young man. Young man? Yes. That young man with pure eyes. Oh, now I remember. What do you remember? Was it how to brush your teeth? That was mean, honey. And no, that still looks too complicated. I remember something about Adele's parents. Really? What is it? What do you remember? Um, what were we talking about? Ooh, what do you mean, what were we talking about? You were going to tell me what you remember about Adele's parents! What was that? N -n no, that wasn't me. That was the pimple on my chest. Really? Hmm? What is this evil in the air? Did your horns just get a little bigger? What? Stop making things up. Uh, Hanako, did your wings just get a little bigger? Really? All right! I'm on my way to becoming a mature woman! Hmm. What was that dark feeling? You noticed it too? Looks like Zenon's curse is growing stronger. Sir Adele, you seem to have been unaffected by Zenon's curse, Sam. Yeah, Zenon's curse doesn't work on me. Really? Is it an ability you were born with? Or are you wearing some kind of magic shield, Sam? It's not because of some item. I guess I was just born with it. Wow, that's very interesting, Sam. Maybe Sir Adele is the Chosen One, sent here to defeat Overlord Zenon, Zam. Alright, a lot of things I can say here, but uh, let me just say... This line right here gets me every time. <laughs> it comes right the frig out of nowhere and it's the last thing you expect to see! I, I wonder, if we go and chat to Adele's dad now... <laughs> what is that? These people start talking all of a sudden. It's really bothering me. I keep saying inappropriate things. I can't go to the parent conference like this. Isn't your dad's people kind of cool? <laughs> Next time on this guy too. We're gonna progress further into LK City and hopefully actually, you know run into Etna. Or not. I don't know. See you guys next time. Laters!